people who volunteer for charity work usually don't get rewarded. But an experiment in the UK is going to change that. A digital currency is being created in the city of Hull. It pays people who do good. I do think that it will make volunteers feel more appreciated. Here's how it works. Let's follow Bob Clark. I'm currently unemployed. He likes to volunteer every week at this outreach centre in a church. There's been a sort of hammering of the idea of the voluntary sector, if you like, community-based work. People expect things to just be there and they don't understand that the mechanisms behind it are pinned up by a lot of people who are just using their own time and not being paid for it. This man thinks society should reward people like Bob. So he created a virtual currency called Hullcoin. It's similar to Bitcoin. Normally in our economy, banks dispense money. But with Hullcoin, charities and public bodies dispense the digital coins, using them to reward people who do good. In Bob's case, for an hour's work at the outreach centre, a charity pays him one Hullcoin from its allocation. So Bob is on his way to spend his Hullcoin. He visits this pie shop. It's one of 140 businesses to sign up to the scheme which is still in its test phase. Hi. Hello, uh, I'd like to bring a brisket pie, but yeah. I've got one of these whole coins. Oh, yeah. For legal reasons, the whole coin can have no monetary value. However, businesses can offer discounts. The size of the discount is up to the business. So with your whole coin, that'll be 15% off today. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank See you, you later. Hullcoins say some businesses will offer discounts of more than 50%. The scheme is run on a non-profit basis. Look, the whole point of charity work, voluntary work, is you don't do it expecting any return. If somebody wants a whole coin, they can have one. If, if they don't want one, they don't want one, don't need one. There is some interesting conversations that we've been having in the space around the commodification of kindness and what the impact of that is. You're still doing something good in the community and just because you've got a slight reward for it, that doesn't make you a bad person, really. No, of course it doesn't. No. <laughs>